Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I'm going to be showing you how to create a gorilla icon or a gorilla face in Illustrator. It's going to be a flat design. And what we want to do is we want to get an image. But first of all, I'll show you the effect I got. So you can see this, create a cool little face and you can create some different variations of it. So what we're going to do is going to start off by creating a guide. So I'm going to press P for the pen tool, find the middle point roughly and I'm going to find the center of the, the gorilla and I'm going to just left click and make a line. What I'm going to do is select this, press control five. If you're on a Mac, control command five to make a guide. So you can see I've got a guide there. I'm going to go lock my guide. So if I go view and I go to guides, I can just click lock and that should lock it. And what I'm going to do now is start to build out some shapes um, with the face. So I'm going to use the pen tool for this. So what I'm going to do is get this general area of his face here without like the fur and stuff. So I'm going to go through, I'm clicking and dragging. And I like to hold shift because it keeps the proportions of the vertical and horizontal lines. So it makes the curves more smoother. And I'm just going to get rid of my fill there. So I'm just going to tick that off. So I can see what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to click off on this, I'm going to click on the anchor there just to cut it off because we only need one side of the face and I'm going to go here and connect it. So holding shift and that should be connected there. And you want to make sure your smart guides are on so then it clicks to the points and clicks to the guides. So we've got that main piece done there. And what I'm going to do now is start to create the nose. doesn't have to be perfect, it can be rough. Just do your best. And the key here is you want to make sure that the shapes look organic. It doesn't have to be completely, you know, straight and everything. And I'll create the mouth here. And you can see how I'm sort of overlapping these shapes. I can actually cut those off. So if I press Command M or Control M and then hold Alt, I can actually minus these shapes off. So you can see I'm in Shape Builder mode now. So I selected everything, pressed Shift M. The button's also there on the left and I can also just minus those things off like that. I'm just gonna delete that stroke there. And I can just join this can see how this is oh, that's fine there and I'll do the eye I'll use the ellipse tool and just to save time there and then I'll use the ellipse tool again pressing L for the shortcut and just make a couple circles I'll duplicate this by pressing control C and control F to paste one in front so you can see that I'm just gonna scale this up a little bit like that and once again I'm gonna select these shapes I'm going to select my shape builder tool and holding Alt or Option, left clicking and dragging to minus those shapes off. So we started to get this nice eye shape, which is pretty cool. So we've got the nose, we've got the mouth, that's sweet. And what we're gonna do is start to build the head. You can see he's got a fairly large forehead. I don't wanna get the whole forehead. So I can just probably stop up here because we don't want the, we don't want to be too imbalanced. And that should be fine. And you can see how there's sort of like an indent here. I might just create a just to create some bit of detail there. So cool, I'm kind of I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to make a new artboard. I can use a shortcut shift O and that's going to duplicate this and it copied everything across. So I don't need the image anymore. I just need my shapes. So if I just put it to black, and I bump it up. You can see what it's looking like at the moment. So that's pretty cool. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press shift X to turn it into shapes. I'm just going to duplicate it there. And what I'm going to do is start to minus off some of the bits I don't need. So I'm going to select it all, press
press shift M for the shape builder tool and now I'm going to minus off some of the parts so what I'm going to do minus this bit off I'll minus this bit off minus that bit off minus that bit off and I'm probably going to minus the head off so you can sort of see this I want to use the reflect tool select it all press O and reflect it and find the center point of the anchor and we're going to reflect it vertically and press copy and that should make the ape like that but you can see how I'm not liking it so what I want to do is I'm going to move this around and we'll go again that's why you always copy it so you can do variations so I'm just showing you you know some versions on how you can actually do it so this time I will go like this I'll minus these parts off like that I'll actually plus this together plus this bit minus that minus this minus those I'll reflect it and cool that's another cool version we can use as well so it's all up to you it's all depending on how you want to do it and how you want it to look like so if I like this what I'll do is I'll unite it all together so I'll go to my Pathfinder tool you can go to window and go to Pathfinder and I'll press the first button that's unite you can see these two squares connecting to each other click unite what I'm going to do now is make a rectangle color it green I'm going to bring this to the back so I've got object arrange bring send backward or send to the back I'll lock that and I'll go pick a lighter color now so you can see any of these greens will do and I'll scale it down and I can round that off if I want and there we have it we've got our monkey icon or gorilla icon and you can do so many different variations you know you can play around with stuff see what it's gonna look like so it's all up to you you know be creative be you know just have fun with it and you can test out other animals and always start with a good reference photo make sure the face is flat so it will look cool so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial let me know in the comments below if this was cool or if you want to see some other stuff like this and don't forget to subscribe for more design tutorials